what is going on everybody i know early morning for me but uh especially starting to do videos but i wanted to get this video done here today i've been busy loading the store up um you guys can see there's a stack here of stuff getting ready to go to psa but some cool stuff a lot of uh herberts and burrows and baseball a little bit of basketball from hoops but gotta get some stuff pushed out my stacks are getting too big again. Well, anyhow, a couple days ago, I, I can't remember the exact day, but somewhere this past week, somebody emailed me about vintage cards. And I will say vintage cards are very easily uh, reprinted, reproduced, fakes, whatever you want to call it out there. So there's no way i could sit there and tell everybody that you could smell the card and touch the card uh while doing a video to really explain it without you having a card or you know smelling the same card i am or touching the same card i am but if you start getting to vintage there's certain things you have to look at because as you start getting more expensive in the vintage yes there are a lot of frauds out there to where people made them and baked them in their ovens and all kind of stuff just to, you know, get over onto the hobby. What I will suggest is that, you know, if you could find some cheaper ones on the market, like people have vintage boxes at a card show, pick a couple up so you could fill them. And, you know, some people have to do the smell test on you. They smell like old moths, you know, something that's been in the closet for a while. But the ones that people reproduce and don't have that same texture as the card. But somebody sent me this here, and it was really interesting because I I knew about it. I just didn't ever think about it. I'm just used to always touch, feel, and look to be able to tell if it's, you know, real or not. And if I'm guessing if it's real, I'm just not buying it. That's just my thing. If I, if I feel something shady is going on, I just don't get it. Let's see. So this here is a 1971 Topps. Everybody knows these are the black border cards. I'll blow this up a little bit here. So this is a real card right here. And they're basically holding this up to a light. And as you can see, the card does not see through at all. And I have no idea why I'm sitting here moving my mouse, knowing that you guys can't see where my mouse is moving at. <laughs> but anyhow, there is a there, you can't see through the card. So, 71 tops, you can hold down. I got it. If you take a flashlight probably directly to the back, you're probably going to look at it. This is at, a, you know, a distance from the light. So, there's that. And, boom. I'll blow this up a little bit, too. This one here is the fake one, the Willie Mays. As you can see, using the same light, you can see right through the card. It's because the stock itself is thinner than it was back then. And it's just the way that, you know, the old terminology cardboard that we use from back then day versus paper now. When you think of cardboard, you're going to think of thick brown cardboard boxes. When you think of paper, you're thinking of a sheet of paper. When you hold a light up to a cardboard box, you ain't going to see through it. When you hold it up to a piece of paper, you are. But be careful out there, especially with vintage. This was a good example with the pictures that were sent. So, you really got to do your homework anymore. Um, I, I don't know where the scam came from and stuff like that there. But I've been watching the market as it's been going from the modern to the goats and to vintage. And before anybody gets, you know, taken to the bank and... You know, you lose some money over a scam. I figure I'd put something out like this. I'm just one of the people I can feel and touch because from 67 tops through about 78, 79, I got like my uncle and dad stuff back in the day. So I know the cards just because I had shoe boxes full of, of those cards, you know. I remember as soon as we opened them up, the smell of the cards, you could tell there's a big difference, the feel of them, and, you know, just the coloring, the ink onto them versus anything else. That's the other thing you can always look at is the ink. Ink back then, a lot different than ink now, too, when they're making these. And even though if you find an older card, it has what we call wear onto the card, 
it may be uh, self-inflicted wear onto the cards, so just be careful. Guys, like I said, they were baking these cards. I think they have the old uh, Goaty and uh, Leaf cards from back in the day. I used <laughs> to see guys to where they were baking the cards to get them rounded and, and just to show wear onto them. It, it's horrible. Horrible what was going on, and it's just become more advanced now with what you're seeing wrong with the hobby because now instead of having limited eyes across the world onto it to where we didn't have ancient internet and stuff back in the day you know you really only heard scams every so often nowadays with the hobby so big the age of the internet and social media it's all the time so there's a lot more going on now but anyhow, I appreciate everybody always watching the videos. I just wanted to share this with everybody real quick today because when you start talking uh, vintage cards and you're starting to buy graded cards and everything else, you got to be careful what you're doing, especially raw stuff. And I'm not saying that buy slabbed all the time is the right idea either because we have a lot of counterfeits of that stuff out. But you really got to start knowing what to look for to, you know, just make sure that you're not going to be on the backside of a scam but again hey we hit 3,000 subscribers today too well, actually last night thank you everybody i do appreciate that we're on the road to 4,000 now i will have the box ordered tomorrow and i don't want to say what it is yet just in case it's not in that warehouse so i have three different boxes um once it comes in should be here wednesday pending the snowstorm coming in that day uh, we have a snowstorm Wednesday through Thursday right now. I'll do a video as soon as it's live. We'll give it a couple days. We'll give it away, get it uh, shipped out to the winter, and then we'll start looking at 4,000. So when you guys see what 3,000 is, you guys are going to know that 4,000 is going to be bigger. We, we just got to go bigger. But other than that, thank you, everybody, for the support to the channel. I do appreciate it. I am going to... Uh, Look at trying to come live also later on, maybe this week, uh, probably either Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Not today, Sunday, but a week from now. Because there's just so much information that, you know, I'm getting from different areas. And I think maybe coming live one day for maybe an hour or so, shorter or longer, uh, just to push stuff out. Maybe answer some direct questions live would be uh, something good. But let me know what you guys think offhand, uh, if you guys have had seen other different ways with vintage cards as well, too, in the comments, how you can tell that they're different. I've always gone with the, the look, feel, smell method. Honestly, I can't do the smell method on to here or the feel method to show you and tell you what I can, you know, I know. But I can at least give you this here to where it's the light test. And like I said, don't hold a flashlight directly up to the back. You want to hold it, you know, kind of far enough away. But if you can see through the card, it's a no-go. No-go in my book. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. I am going to get a few more videos uh, done here for the week. And I will see you guys, hopefully, for a live video for the giveaway. either Saturday or Sunday next week for sure, too. All right. Talk to you all later.